Let's go over the rules. Please don't hand him any objects or take anything from him. Don't stand too close to the glass. If you need any help, just press the red button on the wall behind you. Okay? Now, please, just sign here, acknowledging that you understand the rules. Yeah. I feel like I'm signing my life away. Well, let's hope not. visitors but you have received a visitor recently Val Butler why was she here oh sweet girl she came to ask me if I'd send her something and did you how could I I, I can't send anything to anyone you could have just gotten someone else to send it to her just like you could have gotten someone else to kill her and why would I do such a thing to perpetuate the myth of your brother's immortality or to avenge his death. I am not my brother's keeper, Detective Beckett. I never was, and I don't share his murderous impulses. Yet you're still in here. For now. But when my appeal comes through, who knows, we could all meet on the street one day. On that day, I might cross the street. I'm no danger to anyone. I never was. So why would I jeopardize my appeal by being party to a murder? Because you knew you could get away with it. You're locked up. You have the perfect alibi. I have the perfect alibi because I'm innocent. I don't have TV or internet access. I don't send or receive mail. The only personal contact I have is through visitors. And Val is the last one I've had in years. So who could I have sent to dispatch her or the other witness? Oh, well, we never actually said anything about the other witness being killed, so... How would you know anything about that? I think it's time for you to go. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> 